Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to set a domain and a range on a scale. So by default, scales use the identity relationship, the input value maps to the output value. Use the identity relationship, the input value maps to the output value. But scales can be much more flexible and interesting. Say a data set has a range uh, from 50 to 480. This is the input information of the scale known as the domain. You want to map those points along the x-axis on the SVG canvas between 10 units and 500 units. This output information is also known as the range. Okay, so the range seems like where all your data is and the domain seems like where your uh, values are going to be placed on the SVG canvas. So the domain and range methods set these values for the scale. Both methods take an array of at least two elements as an argument. Here's an example. So here we're setting the domain which is maybe the data points. Um, and then here we're setting the range. Set the domain covers the set of input values. So we say scale.domain. And then within that, we're passing in an array with two integers in it. One, the first one being 50 and the second one being 480. Then we set a range, covers the set of output values. So we have scale. We've already initialized our scale as this D3 scale linear. And then we're saying scale.range, and we're setting that equal to these two elements. And so now it looks like we can uh, pass in elements and they'll return uh, different times. Uh, but if we do scale at 50, scale at 50 here, it returns 10. Okay, so it's just feeding back our relationship. 480, it returns 500. Here we've got 325, which means it's just a number that's sort of in between here. And then it shows us a number that's in between uh, that range. So 750, which is outside of that range, it actually uh, gives us a number that's outside as well and then d3.scale linear. Okay, so notice that the scale uses the linear relationship between the domain and range values to figure out what the output should be of a given number. The minimum value in the domain, 50, maps to the minimum value, 10, in the range. So we want to create a scale and set its domain to 250 and 500. Okay, so it looks like add your code below this line. Okay, and above this line, we wanna add it to here. And what we've got, we already have our scale here. And so we wanna um, create a scale. This, this is here we've created the scale and it's on set to D3 linear scale. And we want to set its domain. So we can go uh, scale.domain. And then within this uh, met uh, method, yeah. I don't know, in, in Ruby we call it method. We wanna set its domain to 250 by 500. Okay. And now we want to set its range. So scale.range is equal to uh, 10 by 150. OK, so 102 uh, seems to be the output. Why are we getting 102? Um, here we're saying the output, dot, the output is equal to scale at 50. Now 50 is between, oh, it's negative. I wonder if I even got this right. So yeah, I'm not really sure why the scale at 50 would be causing it to be there because you'd think that the, the domain would be somewhere in between because 50 is in between here. But um, for now, let's just uh, stick with that one. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.